In a typical home, up to 22% of a home's heat loss happens through the basement. Now, there are several ways to insulate basements, and the best way is using a foam insulating sheathing. With me today is Doug Bybee, technical specialist with Dow Building Materials. Hi, Doug. Hey, Steve. So, uh, we're seeing uh, basement insulation being used here. Tell me about your product. Well, there's several different ways to insulate with foam on the outside of a basement wall. One way is to use a foam that both drains and insulates. And there are several of those on the market. One is uh, called Styrofoam Paramate, as an example. It has grooves on one side of the foam. And when it's installed on the wall, those grooves are out toward the dirt. So water can drain down through those grooves to the footer. So when you install a product like that on the outside of a basement wall, it keeps the basement wall warm so you don't have as much condensation on the inside. It protects the waterproofing membrane on the outside of the basement wall and it helps drainage of water down to the footer and away from the basement wall. Now how long after the uh, waterproofing is put on can you put on uh, the styrofoam? Generally what they do is spray the waterproofing on and by the time they get back around to where they started they can start putting the foam up over the waterproofing membrane. So Doug, what thicknesses does your product come in and what are the R values? Uh, foam on the outside of a basement wall would generally be from about one inch to two inches thick. One inch polystyrene foam is about R5 and two inch would be R10. So those would be typical on the outside of a basement wall. And what about slab insulation? Slab insulation is a real good idea under a basement slab. Not as much from an energy conservation standpoint, but to reduce the potential for condensation or sweating on the basement slab. So it's a good idea to put at least an inch of foam under the basement slab in new construction and then place the concrete over the foam. Directly over the foam? Correct. Doug, what are your recommendations for uh, exterior basement insulation? On the outside of a basement wall, foam would generally be installed over the waterproofing membrane, so the bottom of the foam is resting on the footer, and then it can be temporarily attached to the basement wall with an adhesive or maybe one mechanical fastener per board to hold it in place temporarily because the backfill will eventually hold the foam in place. So, Doug, I see these joints are shiplap. Yes, so the Paramate product is shiplap, which gives it a good uh, seal against water penetration back through the foam. So how far do you take the insulation above grade? We recommend going all the way to the sill plate with foam in most areas of the country. And that does leave exposed foam above grade. What do you recommend to protect the foam above grade? There's some good ways to do that now. This has been a problem over the years. One good way now is a product that's sprayed on. It's a cementitious product sprayed onto the outside of the foam. Another product can be troweled on or brushed on, and there's two that I'll mention. One is called Stucco Flex, and one is called Styro Flex. Should we be concerned about termites or carpenter ants? Uh, in some parts of the country, insects can be a concern. If insects are a concern where the homeowner is building, then there can be an inspection strip, which is about two inches of foam cut that leaves the slab or the basement wall exposed so that the pest control operator can see the concrete slab and detect whether insects are there and then treat them if they are present. Where do you locate the inspection strip? Is that directly below the siding? Yes, that would be directly below the siding. Doug, good information. Thank you, Steve. If you'd like to learn more about foam insulating sheathing products, check out the other videos on this site.